It lurks over the coca pelly, one of Fruta's finest. One that's all rideable, but who has ever ridden it all? Its climbs are just as hard as its descents, and many stand before its ominous presence as a land that ought not to be ridden. It breaks more days than it makes a game of mountain bike Russian roulette, and over the bars is not a question of if, but when. This is mountain biking gold. Some people call it fun. And only true psychopaths ride this. We are revisiting more fun. There will be blood drawn, sweat excessive, tears shed, and limits broken. Today, that mountain biking psychopath is you. ride rejoined by the crashing dad as we try our hand at rewriting our fortunes with short travel 29ers and most notably the yeti sb 100 lent to me by ruby canyon cycles we're going to try to gain a better understanding of the trail and how far we've come by pushing our limits we're doubling the fun in this episode with a legendary teeth gritting pedal pushing mind bending quick thinking test of our skills and our guts people wonder which way are you supposed to ride more fun? And Fruta remember this, when in doubt, take an out and back. One video is not enough to convey the nature of more fun, so it'll be broken into two parts. And in this round, we'll be riding from east to west, the route that was intended to be ridden by its forefathers. I hope you enjoy technical climbing, because there will be plenty of it, and the footage speaks for itself. Fruta's most difficult Knuckle Trail Revis. Okay, let's get this one. I don't know how Shane did it, but he just totally owned this thing. Look yeah, I had to lock my fork up just a little bit to get it. <laughs> I just needed to change gears. <laughs> this is more fun. This stuff is just like right out of the gate. Oh. You must be doing push-ups in the parking lot. One of the many great, more fun climbs right here. You've got to sit the tip of your seat and keep pushing on super tight I don't know how you just rode this I don't know how you just rode this I know <laughs> and then this takes a hard left hook yeah Cut him in line. Oh my God. How does he do it? Oh. This trail is about slow speed and oh, not, ooh. Trail's messed up. <laughs> Watch this suffering. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Tight turns. Yeah. 
if you have any trials moves in your repertoire and bag of tricks then this is the trail for you oh my god he's unstoppable yeah <laughs> yeah okay we got a big old big old nasty this is the nastiest bit right here you guys are from the front range more fun kind of like our version of bitter brush oh it's a good thing me and Shane aren't splitting the load because <laughs> he's been kicking butt today and I'm not doing none of the work so many loose itty bitty rocks get this lodge in the rain I know like when you go downhill on this that high line towards the bank is always your best bet going back to our discussion earlier I was telling Shane that if you take the high line on some of this stuff you get two options on the low line which could be the difference between going off the side of the hill and or landing on the trail and then going off the side of the hill but always going off the side of the hill that's right so we're in this break between the first massive climb and the summit which is just to my left here so let me know in the comments if you guys like to see more technical climbing and or if you like to see the crashing dad kick some serious mountain biking butt hold on the comments this is not my bike this is yeti sb100 and ruby canyons let me demo it so huge shout out to those guys be sure to check out their bike shop their website all that stuff's in the description Oh, Shane gave the scenery A plus. Oh. Oh, oh. Good thing I can throw this bike around easily. Sharp rocks on the GoPro. Oh my god oh yeah what do you think about like i don't know if we can kind of hop into there and then trying to we're gonna try and pivot right here yeah and let's try to pivot on the outside yep i want to give you some room real quick oh nice oh my god i can't do that shane was uh, attributing his success on that to his carbon bars <laughs> let's see if i can do it but i mean i'm not gonna be Oh, good enough. Some people think you can't even call this a trail. Shane calls it the way of life. <laughs> you chose wisely right there, Shane. Oh my God. Between free lunch and more fun, they've both cost me thousands of dollars in repairs. It's a good thing Shane gave me peanut butter and jelly smuckers before this. Huh? Yep. Oh. The views right here are the best you're going to get on this trail. Oh. Uh, I mean, if we leave something behind, at least we're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Always love the sound of skidding rear tires. Yeah. <laughs> so this part right here is a little traverse. It's kind of a nice little jump on the right here, yeah. I know, speed. That speed thing is sometimes hard to come by. 
Yeah, dirt conditions, perfect. Shane's riding today has been 100% flawless. My riding, a lot left to be desired. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. he totally did it. We were, uh, we have to just climb a small bit and then we're gonna be there. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Oh, that, there's a couple lines on it that are pretty crazy. Here's the tippy top. Just hold a really stable speed, okay. if that makes sense. Okay, we're finally going downhill. Oh. These rocks are breaking off. <laughs> Don't go off the cliff. <laughs> I know there's a lot of trail here to see. Oh. Yeah, it's right here. I'll let you know when we get to a spot for session. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Stuff is just breaking out from underneath me. That's this trail kind of described. Okay, right here. Shane's gonna get me killed. Yeah, Shane. How was it? I'm gonna run up. Oh man, going. Wow, that's sketchy. Whew, man. I'm still feeling the adrenaline off of that. <laughs> Riding a 120 millimeter front fork bike <laughs> on some gnar, that's, uh, that's good stuff right there. Yeah. Howdy. She and I have left our six inch bikes at home today. It's all mini bikes, XC bikes for one of the hardest trails in the valley. But the 29 inch wheels are kind of making up for the lack and travel. I'm not expecting it. I know, I'm picking my, you can get, pick up your rear tire, <laughs> practice the endos, kind of fun. This bike is so easy to flip that rear tire around a little bit. Yeah. We're called this the short travel enduro. <laughs> I mean, right now I'm kind of feeling like this is the perfect setup for this trail. So climby, everything's chunky, the tire sizes and travel are just kind of giving you a little bit of an edge. That one's weird a little bit to the left 
and then good luck with that spot over there. How much point. bike damage can we inflict through here? Yeah. This spot gets kind of tricky here. Oh, perfect line. Right here, we got a session spot. That's an endo turn thing right there. Whoa. Shane just told me to trust my wheels. I put a little rock on the side. It's not really to guide me, it's just to guide me. <laughs> Second try. <laughs> so riding with Shane right here. Man, I've, I've dang near pissed myself multiple times. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> what is going on? It's really hard. I know. I'm having fun though, honestly. Shane's been eating this trail alive. Okay, this is a good one. And a hard right. <laughs> <laughs> Want a little play call from the back? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There's a guidebook out there by Troy. But in Troy's guidebook, kind of talking about more fun, he says the trail is all rideable. And that's a fact. It is all rideable. But it's very rarely all ridden and that's also a fact there's a kind of an iffy spot up here i've yet to clear it oh my god shane you are an animal so i told you it's fun that's the first time i've actually ever cleared that spot right there nice. i took a line on the left <laughs> shane officially has said that he's having fun on more fun. It's kind of not really worth that spot right there, Shane. Yeah, it's like a $400 move. Yep. As we close the east to west run of more fun, keep in mind, we're only halfway done. Shane and I haven't had enough. We'll double the fun, the return west to east. In my opinion, the east west route in this video isn't the more, see what I did there, difficult route, but it is the sketchiest and the most physically demanding edition of the two. This is Matt by Gold. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss the second half of more fun. Thanks for watching the Outdoor Gold Network. Be sure to stay tuned for the second half, which will be narrated and hosted by the Crashing Dad.